Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordamt and we are back for some more Pillars of Eternity with the Triple Crown difficulty settings. So, we are currently exploring Anslog's Compass, uh, where we found a couple of merchants, we found the lady we need for the Mother's Plea quest, the Mother's Please quest. And there's also this cave, which I will do later, I think. I think this cave is, is not nice for us. Let's clear out some of these enemies. And then the plan is to clear out this entire area, complete the quest, and see what else we can find in the region. Okay. This is a, a good choke point here. If Eder would bother to shoot, but it doesn't, so move up. Oh, no, stop. Okay, let's hold those, we're good. We also have our resting bonuses. And these guys are wilder, so... Ah, never mind, I don't have my resting in the wilds bonus. Otherwise I would have the extra accuracy against wilder still. Okay, I can pick this up. Just checking if there's something hidden over here. No, cave coral. I mean, I guess I can try to do this right now. How close am I to level up? Nah, still far away. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Uh, you're gonna start like that, you're gonna start like this, everything seems fine. Okay, let's okay. go. I remember this cave being tough. I don't remember why. <laughs> I just know All it was right, tough. Then. Uh, I think this is why. I think these guys confuse or something. I mean, I think I can fight far away from the dang spores and just deal with the sporlings first. And if I can do that, I don't expect much hey. in of terms of complications. Let's see. Okay, 30 damage. Oh, he's even coming alone. Well, let's knock him down if he wants to do the same thing. Badly injured. Come on, dude. No knockdown. Okay. Hey. So far, so good. Margrin's fire casts light in dark places. I'm just unsure about the range of Leave those spores. Hey. But I, I think they shouldn't be able to shoot me over here, right? Doesn't make much sense. Okay, let's all go for that. Let's get an interdiction over here. What? That's okay, swap to our bow. Start damaging them. Let's try to knock this one down. And start casting some books. Okay. Ah, shoot that one. Okay, that one is down. Let's keep focusing on that guy. Watch for you. That's it. Okay. Let's blind this one. And all focus on that guy. Yes. So much for you. Nice blind. We're gonna get a phantom. Everything looking good. Oh, he's immune to cold or to stun? No, he's immune to stun. Let me just check. Uh, and hits. Yeah, I think this is the, the stun effect and he's immune to it. Okay, so all that's left is to deal with those spores. Hey. And what does the flame reveal? I think they are they are very annoying though. I do believe they are what very, very annoying. I'm just gonna send uh, Eder in. I don't remember how 
They they deal damage for sure. I just don't remember how they actually work. Well, let's find out. We're gonna start off by trying to blind one and trying to knock him down if that's even possible. Okay, so Eder is confused. Oh, when he starts smacking my own people. I mean, let's see. Okay, well, he is blinded. That's good. Okay, go over there again. One book, another book. Yeah, okay, so this effect actually hurts. So that's their damage source. But I also think as soon as I get like a phantom, this fight should be over. Because they don't have a lot of fighting prowess, I don't think. And dead, yeah. Yeah, but if if they are able to confuse people while also having the sporlings around, that can be very annoying. Because you will die to the sporlings. I wanna flank. He's flanked, good. What? What is he doing? He did something. Hits it there for seven raw damage. Hmm. Hey. Unsure. Okay, well, we dealt with it. Let's see what kind of rewards we can find. Money. Cave coral. Hidden item. Cool. Some lockpicks. Really? A regular war bow? A fine wand. This might be an upgrade for you, perhaps? Moss and mold cover the bones like a blanket. They smell earthy and wet. Okay, I did not remember this was the... The cave contents. <laughs> okay. That's one area done. Now I think we're gonna find, fight some Zorips. And this fight I need to be careful. Well, we need to be careful for every fight, but this one in particular... I remember being very, very annoying. I remember using the bones as choke points. There we go. Yeah, the, the I think these are the little bitches that that paralyze you. <sighs> okay, so how do I want to handle this? I think I want to bring them into this region because they will get stuck trying to cross while everybody else is like back here. Hey, okay, let let's see. If I can make this work, maybe Where's go the over there to have line of sight. Hey. Hello, Zorips. Now, seriously, do not underestimate this fight. Do not. It will hurt. And just speaking that, let me get some damage reduction. Let's get some pie. And for now, that should be enough. Hey. Following your. Okay, back up. You'll see why this fight is troubling in a second. <laughs> okay, let's hold the line. Okay, go for this guy, try to knock him down. Let's see if we can kill the skirmisher as soon as possible to steer clear of the paralyzing effect. Not really. They also have a priest. Which is problematic. We're trying to knock him down, that's right. Hey Loth, you are going to cast a Chilling Fog over there. You are gonna get an Interdiction over there. Or actually like over here. Mm. Just keep shooting. Yeah, they're all kind of stuck there, like idiots. <laughs> oh, they're coming in, never mind. Okay, this was a very good effect. A very good effect right there. 
Uh, I might even stack these effects, but I'll, I'll, for now I'll just wait and see what we can do. Let's try to knock this guy down again. And see if I can blind him as well. Okay, good job. Let's nuke this area. And toss out some books. And maybe also an iconic projection. <clears throat> yeah, I wanna I wanna get this fight over right. with as soon as possible. Ooh, big damage. Okay. The backline is suffering quite a lot. The Zore Priest is badly injured already. So focus on him. Okay, he's dead. Okay, well, this fight went magically. <laughs> this fight went very, very well. Like, really, I'm not used to this fight going so well. Okay, don't go into the chilling fog, please. Okay, let's go. Fight. Everybody focus on this guy. I think we're golden here. So much for you. Maybe I remember these fights as being very tough because I, I came over here at a, ver a very early level. My previous times, not sure. But I'm just happy okay. <laughs> that it went as well as it did. A blade in the dark. Oh, 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 oh. Page from Fulvanos' Travels. I met a helpful Durwooden woman with a uh, while in Gilded Vale. She was an invaluable guide during my time in that sorry village and agreed to accompany me some part of the way towards Anslok's compass. We parted ways in the wilds known as Magran's Fork but I gave her my amulet so that she might remember me fondly. Perhaps I will return to these lands someday after all. So I think this guy is telling us that there are several items um, of his which are kind of spread around multiple people. A Durwood woman. They parted ways in Magran's Fork. But I, I've already completed Magran's Fork. Is this the one? Uh... Oh, okay, it is. Fulvanos' amulet. Okay, so I have it already. We have Fulvanos' amulet, we have Fulvanos' boots. And there's still the gloves, which I have not found. Mm, this feels like Zorib camp. Oh, we cleared them out, okay. Clamshells and crab carap carapaces. Litter the coals. Any hidden thing? Nope. I think we're fine. So this should have completed the quest for uh, the lady down there. Dude, how many fine arbalists are there in the game? <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not complaining, but... Fulvanus letter. How is it that so grand a journey as mine should lead me here? The people of the Durwood call this pitiable lagoon a sight to see, but all I have experienced here is misfortune. I thought to explore the cavern by the waters, only to discover it was home to Sporlings. Ah, so this we had some hints. I went to see the vaunted compass and lost the bulk of my letters when I tripped over some driftwood. Hmm. And at last I made and at last I made to inspect the dragon skulls nearby, only to be menaced by some foolish little Zorips. I will return to Gilded Vale as soon as I catch my breath. At least the Zorips do not appear to have followed... Well, is this him? Maybe this was him. And this is where he died. Okay, some ghouls. We fought these before. In Redrick's dungeon. Well? Leave it to me! Ooh, baby. Much for you. Leave it to me. Okay. Let us go back to hiding. Shh. 
What do we have? More ghouls? I think I'll just make it there go, go in front and just kill them as we start well. fighting. I don't think there's any kind of real need to, you know, be particularly sneaky about this or something. Okay, swap to your bow and blind this guy, for example. Painful interdiction. Oops, not that. Start casting books. They do hit fairly often, though. Holy Radiance, as they are vessels. Good job. Back up. Uh, just shoot. And just shoot. This guy is blinded, so keep at it. They are tanky, though. Start flanking. So I want you to, to focus on this guy. And you also on this way. Stunned. Nice. Uh, let's everybody focus on this one. Except you. Yes. Okay, good shots. This fight is over. Nice. Okay. None of them uh, cast that corrosive blood thing. All right, then. At the center of a ring of jagged stone, this boulder casts long shadows across the sand as the sun moves overhead. A lovely sight. Would we could spend more time by the sea? Okay, he's a coastal Omoa, so it makes sense. Morning Star, Warhammer, Potion of Fleet Feet, and some gold or copper. Oh, more ghouls. Hello. Yes. Let me see if I can pull it. Ooh. Well. Pew! 47 damage, lovely. Let's reveal Mr. Eder here. And let's start working on these bitches. Okay. I'll go for the injured guy. Okay, good damage so far. As usual, our books. Our holy radiance for the vessels. Just smack them with your stick. I think that's probably a better choice. And let's all focus on this one. Uh, you too, please. Oh, baby, knock down. Can I get a phantom? Yes, I can. He, he made the animation of shooting for the summoning. Okay. Easy enough. More loot. Nothing special. Cool. And this, I think, is what they were talking about. Um, avoiding the southeast area, because there were undead. A page from Fulvanus' Travels. While traveling west towards Gilded Vale, I encountered a fellow traveler of some considerable intelligence, and we engaged in pleasant conversation. It came to light that the poor fellow had the most execrable pair of boots upon him. I gave him one of my spare sets that he might better appreciate Valian craftsmanship. May they serve him well, for he said he intended to cross the wilderness known as the Black Meadow. I cannot imagine it as a pleasant place. Yeah, so we've picked those boots up already. And uh, let's see. What else do we have? Is that all? Okay, I think I think I might have been remembering this area oh, wrong. Well, I mean not wrong, but in a different light. I'm pretty sure the first time I came here, or the the last times I came here, I came at a very low level, and that fight with the Zorips was very painful. This time it went extremely smoothly, so not sure. Ranga. Well met, friend. Is it done? Am I rid of the interminable squawking of the Zorips? 
Scree? No, Tana, I do not mind yours. They're all dead. Good. I tired of their feeble attempts to surprise us. Here, she hands you three vials. For your trouble, and now we can get underway with my part of the bargain. I will get started on the mixture, but I need one more ingredient. Some spores from the creatures in that cave there. Ah, okay, so we had to go there anyway. She points just north of her little stretch of beach. Sporlings, they call them. It is a useful material. I need one for the mixture. You are welcome to any others you find. I have some spores here. So you do. Excellent. Give one here and I'll add it to the cauldron. This should not take long. The mixture is ready. Take this to Ofra. Tell her to drink it before bed as it induces sleep. She should find herself more energetic in the mornings. Tell her to eat more fish and cheese. The potion will sustain a healthy appetite. Grant her strength. She's a rather frail woman from what I remember of her. Wait, I thought this was a cure. I can tend to ailments of the body. I cannot cure an affliction of the soul. Certainly not one inflicted by the gods. Rang across her arms. I have explained many times. People will believe what they want. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? If people are having problem with hollow-born children and everything is related to how the soul goes into the body, uh, it's not going to be a shaman with some poultices that's going to heal that. But yeah, I guess people will believe what they want. So let her believe. Perhaps that will help. Faith is a powerful thing. In the meantime, she will feel much improved and if her child should not be claimed by the legacy, then it will be born healthy. That I will promise. This doesn't seem right because she just mentioned, right? She explains this to people. And she and she explained it to me as well. Uh, so I'm not gonna blame her. Fine, I'll be going then. I have done what I can as promised. Tell Ofra I wish her well. Are you happy? Scree? <laughs> I like I like the, the Zorib. I also thought about the items here and there are some there is some cool stuff, let's be honest. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna save myself for now. Because soon I hope to reach an area which has some powerful items to pick up and I wanna make sure how much gold I have left, you know to spend among my things. Entire area is covered, let's go back to the Gilded Veil and complete our quest for the Mother's Plea. And actually I think there's an area west of uh, the compass. I should have I should have checked that. Okay, I, I will soon. So offers us home, let's go there. I might as well sell some things while I'm here as well. Okay, let's see. Ofra. Hail, traveler. You were some time away. I worried you wouldn't return. Is that it? Have you brought it? Ofra looks at you hopefully. What did Ranga say? Yes, I have it. Here it is. You really did it. Oh, bless you, bless you. I don't know what I could have done without you. Now my baby will be safe. Ofra beams at you. I can't thank you enough. Now, <clears throat> I think we have an option to tell her about the potion that it's not a cure. I'm not sure if this isn't a time for, you know, ignorance is bliss. If she wants to believe the potion will help her. You know, placebo effect and all that. Maybe just let her have it and believe she will be fine. And if something wrong happens... <sighs> if I tell her this might not work, I will disappoint her. But, I mean, we're being realistic about it as Logan would say, <laughs> and maybe she's fully aware of what can happen and what cannot happen, whereas if I just give her the potion and tell her it will work, she will be massively disappointed 
and might do some harm to herself. Okay, let let's just let's just explain to her what's happening here. Wait, you should know something about that potion. Offra blinks, looking down at the vial. What do you mean? It doesn't do what you think. Ranga says it will make you feel better, but that's it. But that's... Ofra's happiness quickly fades. But everyone said... She looks away. I should have known. I've been so stupid. How could I think... I'm sorry, I wasted your time. Okay, so let, let's wait. You don't know that your child will be the same fate, perhaps? Is Okay. Okay. You don't know that your child will meet the same fate. This is true. Perhaps this is best left to chance. Offer takes a deep breath. You're right. I, I shouldn't turn to such methods. There may still be another way. She seems to deflate a little, her face weary. I won't take the potion, but thank you all the same for acquiring it for me. No, I want you to take the potion, woman. What are you doing? I want you to take the potion. <laughs> Here, take this. You can keep what remains of Ranga's payment too. And take this as well. It was Hathort's. I've been holding on to it, but I think it'll do you more good. Woman! It was not my intention for her not to take the potion. I suppose all I can do is pray. Perhaps the gods will be kind. Well, this is a lot of experience. Let me check something here. Yeah, so for sure the experience is, you know, spread throughout your entire party, which yeah. makes sense. But... I wanted her to take the potion. Eh. God damn it. That was not the outcome I was looking for. Okay, so we are gonna go... Where am I gonna go? I'm gonna sell some stuff, that's it. I don't think I need a rest. Yeah, we're fine. Hey. And we are gonna go into the bridge area. Or maybe I'll scout out the region to the left of the compass because I, right I do then. believe there's an uh, okay, there's a region over there. Okay, let's sell some stuff here. What do I not want? Oh, I still have this. Okay. Wait. She was supposed to give me a cloak of cold protection, not this. Did I read it wrong? Maybe I did. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out soon. Oh yeah, okay. All of this is for selling. Uh, what does a Warhammer do? It simply deals crushing and piercing damage, okay. We can sell that. We can sell that. And I guess we can sell Fulvanos' letters. Okay, trade. Let's go. And we will check out this area to the left of the compass. So go over here. Yeah, because, like, it even shows here, right? You have this little road. I should have explored it earlier, but I forgot. <laughs> Wait. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there isn't. Really? There's not? What about over here? Well, I guess there's not. I thought there was an area over there. Okay. Well, my next destination is the Madmer Bridge. We've cleared out every other area except finishing off Redrick's Hold. Let's see what and I this do not really remember what's in this place except for the bridge and, there's, and there being a quest there. Okay, some more Zorips here. How many Zorips are there? Yes. As you oh, wish. I'm being spotted. This guy looks to be alone. Oh. 
What? Knock him down. Hey. Okay. Yeah, he seems to be alone. Uh, swap to your bow. Well. Knock him down again. As to not get paralyzed, please. Thank you. Good. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Maggot squirm amidst the deer's entrails. Okay. There's a troll. I can see him. There's two trolls. I'm not really scared of the trolls. Still, yes. let's throw out a nice opening barrage here. Varathon! Varathon! So pew pew pew! Okay, nice damage. And let's go right into melee. Knock this guy down if we can. I think they are kind of alone. So, time for books, as usual. Swap to your bow, blind this guy. What is it? Okay, blind it. Just shoot. Or actually, hit him with your stick. You can now also just shoot. Okay, he's blind for a long time, so I won't bother knocking him down right now. So much for you. Okay. Man, they do take oh I forgot my They do take a beating. Following your Stand. Okay. Try and finish that guy off. Come on, man, just die. Thank you. Okay, everybody go for this one. I'm actually gonna have you use your S talk. And try to knock him down. Okay, let's actually lower his damage resistance if we can. Sacre blue! We missed, of course. Oh, he's turning towards Kana. Come on. Just die. I'm gonna try this again. Jesus, man. How? Like. Ah, because this is probably fortitude based, right? Yeah, target. Okay, never mind. That was dumb on my part. That was poor play on my part. Also, not turning this on. Yeah, yeah. Ah, don't be me. Don't be me. I play that poorly. Okay, this edit has nothing. Oh, you little bitch. How wide is this area? I'm not sure if this is a choke point or not. Hmm. Okay. I am kind of afraid of the high priest. Hey. Hey. Okay. We're gonna have to fight right now. Yeah, this spell, no bueno. Let's move forward, please. Start killing these guys. Durants, uh, I forgot you had your stick. I'm gonna have to spread, because I think this is an AoE effect that will knock people down and he's targeting me. I think I'm straight up gonna die right here. <laughs> That's what I think. Let's... <clears throat> well, I'm alive. Let's all be thankful. 
You bitch, he's still going for me. Okay, back up. And you focus on him. Okay, good. Heal. Let's get some books going. And you can just swap to your stick now and start smashing. Okay. Let's blind the High Priest and try to kill him. He's buffing his friends. Come on, before he heals! Oh, okay, he healed that one instead of himself. That's very altruistic of you, my friend. Good for me. Okay. I'll see what I can find. All right. What else do we have? So mostly a bunch of Zorips with some more over here. Hey. Okay, let's make sure they engage on it there. I don't need slow mode for this. Okay. Some shrooms. More Zorips, Jesus. Okay, dude, let's swap to... Uh, oh, 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 oh. There's a priest and a skirmisher. What is it? Let's go for the priest. Try to knock him down and everybody shoot him. Also with a blind. What is it? Oh, I cannot actually target him with it there. Okay, that's okay. Just go for this one then. You can smack that guy after doing this and let's get books again. Swap the bow. He's almost dead. Don't let him cast, please. Thank you. Go flank. We should be focusing on this guy. Again. Good job. And dead. Okay. White flame and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Wait, what happened? Oh, I spotted the skirmisher over there. What? Is he alone? He seems to be alone. Let's see how he likes that. Yes. Pew! Yeah, okay, so there is paralyzed already. For 2.3 seconds, that's fine. I'm not concerned. Done. What okay. is that? You should have your rifle for now. Pick that up. Pick that up. Hello. Hello. Hello, Kana. Shut up. <laughs> it's just like a Zorip encampment. Oh, a fine hatchet. Now that could be something useful. I'm currently very happy with my flail, but if I need more deflection, that's a cool item to have. I think for now I'm gonna give it to Kana. Yeah, this is the guy that gives us a quest. Okay, so let's stop here. Let me swap out my weapon. So I want you to have this. Wait, who has the plus n Oh, he does. Because he already has the ring. I also have the cloak. Aloth has this, which sucks. So let's give him that. Okay, that's better. Ah, okay, we got enough money to actually start learning some spells here before I forget. So I want Fireball. I want this one. I want Fleetfoot. 
I think I want web as well. And I want lightning. So that's a lot of gold spent right there. I'll take this as well, just because, why not? And we are going to... This is a target, not necessarily myself, but I will take this out for now. This one simply... I mean, it's not bad. Minus 10 to their will saves. Accuracy versus reflex. Could be good. And it's probably better than what I have. Except maybe take this one out and bring this one in. For level 2. Uh, binding web might actually not be bad. But it lasts for... <laughs> nah, nah. It, okay. I think I will want the miasma of dull-mindedness. Accuracy versus will is quite good. I have my... Paralyzation. Okay. Okay. Nice spells here. Ah, and before I forget, I want the hatchet as well. 5 deflection, plus 4 accuracy, plus 15% damage. Be happy, my friend. Okay, and with this, I think this is a good spot for us to... I forget, <laughs> I cannot quick save in trial of iron. Um, this is a good spot for us to end the episode. And next one, the plan is to uh, complete this quest. I think there's a, a big portion of this area that we cannot do yet. Not sure if it's this one or not. Uh, and then we will probably move to Kednua. Because I don't think we can get over here yet. So yeah, as always guys, thank you so much for being here with me, watching some Pills of Eternity. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave a comment below. If you want to get notified about other videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Free and easy way to support my channel and videos are coming out every single day. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until then, stay safe everyone.